Down here, soldier! Eat everything that's on your plate! Finish it! You're a tin man now! A tin man! Hold and release to create a shocking trap. You spared him. Mercy. Comstock's men will surely take him. Do you think we're so we're killing him? like a decent enough sort. That said, but... You know about me, the better. Surrender! Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. 
to attend to that system. God makes all kinds of soldiers, but he only made one Cornelius Slate. My father followed him up San Juan Hill, through the legations in Peking, and as he put it, through hell the order was given. At today's muster, Slate asked me if I was Sergeant Monroe's daughter. I said, yes sir, I am. Slate said, your father always wanted a son. I hope the fool has wisdom enough to recognize his good fortune. Tip there were contraband guns hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find them, but funny thing, we found some old uniforms under the floorboard. 
veterans from the war <laughs> took guesses as to why they were there, but... <laughs> Who's there? You're Slate, right? Sir? Put the guns down! Ah! Did you hear that, Comstock? That is the sound you have never heard. The sound of a soldier's end. Come to your hall of heroes. Prove me a liar. Sorry. Salts, take them! Catch, Booker! Nice! They're all gone. Come on out. I don't think I understand how you do what you do with these tears. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember them. They can kill me. To what? Huh. How do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read? I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? And what did that teach you? There's a world of difference between what you see and what is.
city belongs to the Lord. The Lord judges my act. <laughs> Up your alley. Looks easy enough. All done. When you were unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Not something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. Just what the doctor ordered. No one... Wait, what is that? 40 North by 74 West. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on. Everything's going to be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... Oh!
So you're this false shepherd we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. Listen, I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join the Vox. I just want my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him, and you shall have your ship back. <laughs> Before she left.